This podcast is brought to you by LMU Munich. Thank you so much, Hannes, Stefan, Professor Wiersing. It's a great pleasure to be here and great to see you all. Um, good morning again. And what I want to do today is I want to invite you to join me in taking a look back at the past five years, or rather the first five years of our Munich Center for Mathematical Philosophy. Um, I think it's fair to say that when the center was founded in 2010, I guess few of us really knew what we were in for. But the MCMP quickly picked up speed and at the latest when Stefan joined Hannes and the MCMP to in a way complete the Munich uh, logic and philosophy of science tradition, all of us had realized that we were part of something big. Fast forward to today with more than 40 local members at certain times, more than 100 visitors in total, and more than 35 external members at the moment, we are really using mathematical methods to work on all sorts of philosophical questions and topics. Uh, from truth, rationality, norms, belief, reasons and confirmation to physics and metaphysics. Teaching mathematical philosophy has always been a central part of our mission. Since the earliest days, we're offering courses in English and in German, and add to that a couple of computer languages. And in 2012, uh, we even established the international two-year MA program in logic and philosophy of science. In addition to our regular courses, we have also hosted summer schools on a variety of topics. You see, we've been teaching a lot. Lots of courses. Um, in the last two years alone, I did the counting. The MCMP offered a total of 120 courses and tutorials in total. That is courses not only in Munich, but also abroad. Um, for example, in my case, I've been teaching in Hungary. Others at the center have been teaching in Salzburg, for example, even in exchange with our partners there. We've not only been teaching courses offline in the classroom, but also online. You certainly remember the Stanford Munich online seminar as a co-teaching experiment with Stefan uh, and Patrick Suppes. Um, despite these numbers, despite these huge numbers, is, it is not quantity that we're after, of course. Our efforts in striving for high standards in teaching have been recognized, for example, by LMU's students, um, with Hannes uh, being awarded the Preis für gute Lehre, not once but twice in 2012 and 2015. And in 2013, as already mentioned, we went massive. As one of the first German universities, LMU launched a set of four quite specialized massive open online courses on the Coursera platform, right? Hannes and Stefan went to the studio to produce the high glass video course Introduction to Mathematical Philosophy, um, which was later supplemented with lecture notes quizzes and an online forum uh, with uh, our very own Lena as teaching assistant contact person and moderator to handle the crowd. Uh, for the third run last year, we even went back to the studio to produce more material for an extended version. And we're proud to say um, that all this work has been rewarded with truly massive involvement. I think it's fair to say that the MCMP a um, massive open online course stirred uh, quite some interest already at launch, already with the first edition, with um, a few 10,000 students enrolled, probably more in total now than uh, uh, LMU has local students. Um, we also used the course later in a flipped classroom, blended learning version at the MCMP in 2014 and 2015. But let me share with you some of the, um, of the feedback we received in the Coursera forum. So, one student writes, Thank you so much. Mathematical philosophy is such a fascinating field, and I've thought the way that we dig into and understand the details of even the simplest ideas is extremely interesting. This is definitely a subject that I want to pursue further, and I would never have realized it without this opportunity. And the second student adds to that, when I first clicked join for this course, I thought it would be interesting. Now that it is here, I'm blown away by what an amazing course this is going to be. Great stuff, Hannes, Stefan 
and Lena. Can you tell that teaching is important to us? But so is research, of course, which you uh, can maybe infer from the sheer amount of research events we've had at the MCMP in the past five years. By the end of 2015, we will have hosted 90 conferences and workshops shops of all sizes. One of our busiest years was certainly 2013, with 22 events in this one year and more than 650 participants in total. We like the idea of involving our students early on. So, um, in 2015, last year, we launched the MCMP Graduate Conference Series. And we've hosted and organized research events in cooperation with various partners uh, and at very different, different locations. Um, for example, in Tilburg and in Bristol, of course, that's in our DNA, but also in Jerusalem uh, or deep in the Black Forest and right in Midtown Manhattan. Um, this project is really close to my heart and I guess many of you expected me to mention it. I, I could not have done this little presentation without mentioning uh, Bridges 2014 in New York City. Um, a two-day workshop plus evening lecture by Stefan Hartmann with more than 200 attendees at the German house, 20th floor overlooking United Nations Plaza. What a terrific setting. Um, this event would not have been possible, of course, without the support from so many partners. LMU's executive board, who had our back from the very start, uh, our own philosophy department, um, the German Universities Alliance, LMU's um, uh, uh, representation in New York City, the German Center for Research and Innovation, GCRI, the American Friends of the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation, Goethe Institute, New York City, um, and we owe a lot to our NYC Bridges 2014 project ambassador, Brandon Feidelson, of course. Thank you so much again. Um, the idea behind Bridges was the MCMP meets philosophers from the US in tandem talks on inter-theoretic relations. Um, so you really see that the bridge image is reflected in all aspects of the concept. If that got you curious, um, you can relive our road trip in our online travel diary, or you go to the, to the event website, which has all recordings of all the talks. Yes, because we took our very own LMUcast professional, Connie, with us to New York. Media was part of the concept. Over the past five years, we've put a lot of thought and work into the communication of mathematical philosophy and uh, what we do at the, at the MCMP. With the first talks at the center, we started documenting our activities. In 2011, we established our very own media team. We set up our own equipment pool and we trained our staff in science communication, camera work, video editing and related qualifications. In 2013, we even introduced the MCMP internship, science and communication, to support our efforts, efforts and to offer students from other universities and other fields professional qualification and insight into our media activities. I want to show you some examples because, of, because much of what we do in teaching and research um, is mirrored in our media. Of course, for anyone interested in, a, in our center, uh, our, our website really has become the one-stop portal for everything MCMP. Um, since we strongly feel part of LMU and not like a disconnected unit, right? We decided to use uh, LMU's look and feel uh, for all our pages from the start, the main site, even our intranet pages and all our event pages. Uh, we even programmed our, very, uh, our own front page to make it as informative and useful as possible to let people know about upcoming events, uh, calls of all sorts and newly published videos. Uh, because we have recorded many, 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 many of our talks. We've recorded, edited and published more than 500 talks in the past five years. Currently, we, we count more than 10,000 downloads per month. And we regularly appear in iTunes use great collections in the uh, philosophy section. Uh, you should go check it out. We started with a single channel on iTunes. We, we naively started with a single channel on iTunes U in 2011. Soon reached the channel limit on iTunes U and introduced four new channels. Naively introduced four new channels, only to expand these to a total of 10 channels soon after. I want to share 
some fond memories with you that we wrapped in a short teaser uh, video on the, on the occasion of expanding from one to four channels in 2013. Yes, with all these great, thank you. <laughs> I mean, with all these great uh, talks recorded, you can imagine that it was a no-brainer for us to use those videos again in class with so many interesting guests visiting the MC and entertaining guests visiting the MCMP and contributing to our video archives. We have used the opportunity to watch and discuss these presentations of cutting-edge research in class, as if the speaker were there in person. And what we've recently started uh, doing is to develop this idea into a standalone digital format. In 2014, we introduced the MCMP Curate Collections format to make those few hundred recorded talks in our video archives accessible in a quite personal way. Members of the MCMP have started creating video collections in their field of interest and specialization. I have learned a lot and I'm personally thankful for the great collections we already have, especially for the latest edition, Carnap on Logic by Georg Schiemer, I think a long due uh, addition to this list. Um, so here's Sebastian again, visualizing an important problem, as you can see. In a very successful video format, we created as teaser clips to get potential, to get a potential audience curious. In 2013, we introduced the video equivalent to um, the familiar paper abstract, 
100 seconds MCMP at first sight video abstracts inform, invite and introduce speaker and topic at the same time. We've done those for lectures, seminars, summer school courses and conference keynotes. They're all announced on Facebook, they're searchable online and linked to social media platforms. We are a social bunch after all. The MCMP Facebook page currently has more than 2,500 followers. We use it to engage with the community to announce calls, jobs, new videos, upcoming events and seminars. And sometimes um, we reach quite a few people. As in the case of this post, in which I announced a new video that had just become available, Aviv Karen's talk on the logic of love, that I supplemented um, with this pictorial summary of my understanding of the talk. And you can see how important timing is with social media. We reached almost 7,000 people on Valentine's Day. And by the way, Aviv totally rejects my summary of his talk. <laughs> but you should, go check it out. Uh, you should go check out the recording yourself. But what would be the quickest way to find Aviv's video, though? Use our custom online video search. Uh, to make our video archives accessible through our website, we programmed our very own dedicated video search. Uh, this search returns results from all our channels uh, and offers even cross-links between full talks and their first sight video abstracts. In the future, maybe also between the recorded talks and the articles those talks are based on. Everything's prepared. Um, in 2014, we started collecting all MCMP publications in one central database. This database not only contains publication metadata and preprint files, but also, again, cross-links to the related MCMP recordings. All entries are mirrored on Google Scholar, as well as the Bielefeld Advanced Search Engine, and searchable on our website to make the MCMP's research accessible in yet another way. When you try out our publication search, you'll see that the MCMP has left virtually no philosophical stone unturned um, and that over the past years the MCMP's members have published in all influential relevant journals including the Philosophical Review, News, Mind, Journal of Philosophy, Philosophy and Phenomenological Research, Review of Symbolic Logic, Journal of Philosophical Logic, Philosophy of Science, British Journal uh, for the Philosophy of Science, Studies in History and Philosophy of Science, just to name a few. Of course, this is all about original research, but for the purpose of community building, many of the MCMP's members also contribute to the Kent-based Community Digest, The Reasoner, which is familiar to all of you. Hannes Leitgeb has the editorship of our Kentness and was responsible for the review of symbolic logic until, until recently. Stefan Hartmann is president of both the European Philosophy, um, European Philosophy of Science Association and the European Society for Analytic Philosophy with preparations for the ESAP conference, ECAP 2017 at LMU in full swing. We expect more than 500 attendees for this conference, which is keeping our event manager, Sabine, quite busy already, I guess. Um, I think it's fair to say that the MCMP has received quite some attention in a variety of contexts. The MCMP and its members have appeared in in-house publication and in public media, online, in print and on TV. Um, and we appeared as hosts of public events, right? In 2013, for example, we offered the evening lecture for our conference on foundations of physics to the public in cooperation with well-known Deutsches Museum München. One of the events that was probably echoed most widely in public media is Why Trust a Theory, organized in September 2015 at LMU, the workshop on the philosophy of physics stirred quite some interest. Uh, journalists from Nature, New Scientist, Quantum Magazine, Quartz Magazine and Scientific American published interview pieces. A British team of filmmakers wanted to know more about the role of falsificationism in modern physics. An Austrian radio, Ö1, broadcast an interview uh, with our very own Richard David about the debate among physicists on the status of empirically unconfirmed theories. We're proud to call our center fertile soil not only with respect to philosophical research, but also, but also when it comes to funding. The MCMP can claim several high-ranking projects financed by research funds such as DFG, LMU, Excellent, 
or Fonds fond zur Förderung der wissenschaftlichen Forschung. At the same time, the center is hosting many external projects funded by Marie Curie Actions, uh, Fr the Friedrich Wilhelm Bessel Forschungspreis, the Anneliese Meyer Forschungspreis, or also the European Research Council. We feel great responsibility to use this trust and this money wisely. One of the things we have publicly made part of our agenda is equal opportunity. Um, not only on the department level, where we're honored to be joined by uh, Professor Monika Betzler uh, and Professor Ophelia Derois, not only at the chair level, where we are proud to have Gil and Lavinia, but also at conferences in our colloquia amongst the MCMP's doctoral and postdoctoral fellows by raising awareness and by taking action. For example, with our highly successful summer school for female students that we're offering since 2014. Um, we've made gender balance a topic, for example, with Katarina's talk on being a woman in mathematical philosophy or Helen's talk on women in philosophy. Why should we get more of them and how do we do it? With more than 2,000 video downloads in the first three weeks of, of availability and now more than 4,200 downloads in total. I think that speaks for itself. Our life as philosophers at the MCMP has been enriched by so many fruitful cooperations and collaborations with a long list of research partners all over the globe. For example, um, I'll mention only two projects which bear the cooperation and the title. Uh, the Munich Sydney Tilburg Conference Series and uh, the Bristol Munich Workshop Series, two over and over inspiring uh, projects. Um, we've collaborated with many institutes and centers across disciplines within LMU, for example, with our neighbors uh, from the statistics department who are just across the fire door. Um, and let me add that none of our media activities would have been such a success were it not for so many partners in Munich, LMU's internet services, Virtuelle Hochschule LMU, Unterrichtsmitschau, the open access team at LMU's library, LMU's Kongressberatung, of course our Hörsaal Technik, uh, the Leibniz Rechenzentrum, and others who have tirelessly supported our efforts. It's always sad to see people go, um, but our MCMP members continue to be members, uh, even when they leave Munich. And they leave for good reasons, because they're offered excellent jobs at the University of Bristol, at La Trobe University in Melbourne, at Birkbeck University of London, at the University of British Columbia, the University of Washington, the University of Bergen, the University of Bayreuth, the University of Oxford, Pembroke College, the University of Kent, the University of Turin, to be continued. With so many members of the MCMP taking up positions all over the globe, we're looking forward to an interesting future in a fantastic MCMP network. It's good to see you all. Thank you.